I initially wanted to drive a tipper truck I wanted to be taken on as a, a driver's mate or a trainee driver so I would approach several but they would always say eh, madam you know what we don't think you can do it because we wake up so early in the morning we go to the sun pit and uh, we don't think uh, when the truck is stuck in sand you'll be able to shovel the sand out and uh, get the truck going but they all flimsy excuses trust me they all flimsy excuses it's just like they try to tell me look this is our space don't invade it mm -hmm. go find your space and just belong in your small space so I said well after some months about six months of not succeeding on uh, getting myself uh, a driver to train me I, I sort of I knew it was about time I toned down my mm -hmm. ambition honestly so I said hey um, here's the case the whole transport system commercial transport system is very gender segregated and so I started asking questions as in why is the transport system so gender segregated why don't I see female taxi drivers as compared to the thousands and thousands that we have on our streets so if for me that curiosity was a social um, research curiosity so I was like asking myself should commuters be given a choice mm -hmm. to choose between male taxi service or male driven taxi service and female driven taxi service well which one would they choose or who would they choose without blinking their eyes or even thinking twice mm -hmm. so that sets the whole ball rolling and um, it's it's been quite interesting I actually started out when I got this taxi that I have on high purchase this is how I started out because I hadn't got uh, or joined a, a taxi union so I was driving just like the male taxi drivers would drive randomly and hope someone flags me down then I attempted three unions they all said no but one of them um, is somewhere around the marina mall or the airport city enclave so I sort of approached them they said no and I said look let's work this out uh, if you didn't accept me formally into your union I could just hang around you guys uh, if you do have clients and you don't like the financial offer they make you can you toss your rejected offers to me and uh, one one particular one fateful day I met this man uh, he was with a wife and a toddler and uh, he worked with one of the high commissions here in Ghana so he was like well the men are asking for 10 Ghana cities I want to give you 8 Ghana cities for taking me back home because I we just came in here to shop for groceries I said no problem sir I'll take your 8 and he was like and she's a woman and trust me by the time we got to his house he said look listen I'm, I'm going to pay you the 10 Ghana cities the men were demanding I'd rather give it to you and would you mind if I share your contact with my colleagues at work I said you're free to do so sir then the calls started coming in from his colleagues and this sort of started the, this whole snowballing thing of me building my clientele list so that's the fantastic story of how I I had to stop picking random people by the roadside and then building up my clientele base gradually personally as a woman I feel safer uh -huh. especially on late night trips taking s &M because there's no risk with her and it's been quite interesting it's we've had some fun times being in the car and seeing other men taxi drivers be in awe that there's s &M, but she is absolutely wonderful and there's nothing that she that they they can do that she can't do and her service is amazing and everybody loves her men and women